Ashley, what is our third topic? We are moving over to Universal Studios. Universal is coming out with an escape room. Who's excited for that? <laughs> it's going to be called Universal Great Movie Escape Room. It's going to feature Jurassic World and Back to the Future. Two of my all-time favorite franchises, two of my favorite movies. Say what you want, but Jurassic World, in my opinion, is the number two movie in the Jurassic franchise. Absolutely fell back in love with dinosaurs after seeing that movie in the theater. Brought me back to all the feels. And my goodness, Back to the Future, the first one, in my opinion, I can argue with anybody, is probably the smartest, well-written movie of all all times it stands the test of time it's a trilogy that every family should watch together absolutely love it really miss the back to the future ride liked it more than the simpsons ride even though it is dated but having this brand new experience and it's supposed to be a all-out top of the line escape room like never before now we've never done an escape room so i am super interested to see what it's all about and like Gary said, I mean, this is two of the greatest movies. So, I mean, my opinion, what what could go wrong? I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to draw a lot of attention to the Universal City Walk. Um, not sure exactly how, like, you have to buy tickets and wait for a certain time. Um, but there's tons to do while you wait. So, I think it's going to be great. Yeah, Jurassic World is probably one of my favorite movies in... Building the Velocicoaster, which is based off of Jurassic World, it's just all tying it together, and maybe one day the whole park will be <laughs> Jurassic World and not Jurassic Park. Interesting. So can you imagine here, so I don't know what there's going to be about, but just imagine it's an escape room, and you have to find the clues to get out of the room, and here you have a... A, a, a dinosaur that's trying to get you while you're in your room and you're looking for clues and and here comes a raptor and it's clawing at the door and it's trying to open the door oh and then can you imagine you know they're gonna do the music right they're gonna do the theming right if you've been to Halloween Horror Nights you know that they go all out with realism and they spare no ex expense so this I am so excited and, and the back to the future so maybe you're trying to help marty and you're trying to to biff's trying to get you and i i don't have a clue what it's going to be about but you're going to have the delorean there and you have to figure out how to get the delorean to 88 miles per hour and it's missing a part or something and you're trying to figure out find the part get it in the car i i am sign me up take my money for this one i am so ready for this Super, super excited about this. We are ready. So which one are you going to do first? You are visiting Universal Studios. Just say a family uh, from, I don't know, let's say Iowa. And uh, so you go from Des Moines, Iowa to Orlando. You have the weekend. You're staying at the Hard Rock. But you can only do one. You're going to do Back to the Future or are you going to do Jurassic World? I think I would do Jurassic World. Just because of that adrenaline rush, you just talking about it would make me like really, really excited if it's anything like that and there's dinosaurs after you and you're trying to, you know, find the missing clue or whatever. All that, that sounds, that sounds so, so fun. Jurassic, so yeah, Jurassic World. Jurassic World is it for me too because I, I just like dinosaurs in general and I've never really seen the Back to the Future. I think I've only seen one. I was afraid you was about to say I've never seen a dinosaur. Oh no, I've seen plenty of dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, you have? In real life too. In real life. Yeah, but an interesting effect, I think they might could do like a velociraptor like busting through the wall and like, Whoa. you know, on the ride, I was like... <laughs> yes, yes, after you. So what if you lose the escape room? Do you get eight? I guess so. I mean, you just... <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be added to the menu at Cowfish, I guess. <laughs> you know, I would do Back to the Future because uh, just in my mind, I would think the Back to the Future escape room would probably be easier. And um, you not have to worry about you being called a butthead or getting <laughs> ate by a Tyrannosaurus Rex. 
I would I think Back to the Future is going to be easier challenge there. And so if I could only do one and I'd have to wait to come back to do the other, I would go Back to the Future first. And because I grew up on Back to the Future, I love everything about it. I love every, the movie. It's great. If you've never seen Back to the Future, you have to watch that. Hello, McFly. Hi. <laughs> is this going to be a buy, sell, or trade Back to the Future, Jurassic World, The Escape Rooms coming to Universal City Walk? It's a buy for me. I'm going to say buy. I've never done an escape room, but I think this should be the perfect first one for me. I agree 100%. I am totally buying this experience. Hands down. I'm all in with this one as well. Cannot wait. Buying it, buying it, buying it.